historically, China has been fairly insulated from terrorism. Uh, we haven't seen a lot of attacks within China, and when, when we have seen attacks, they've been isolated to the western parts of China, particularly areas that have significant separatist threats. In general, these are local groups, Uyghur groups, uh, which is an ethnic minority in China, and these groups have concerns with the way uh, that they are being treated and represented within China. We're seeing linkages forming between Uyghur groups in Xinjiang, which is the province in western China that we're, we're mainly talking about here, and uh, groups within uh, Pakistan, uh, Afghanistan, other areas that we know to be hotbeds of international terrorism. China potentially faces increasing threats from international terrorism. And the reason for that is sort of twofold. You have uh, economic growth, which is forcing China to become increasingly active in the parts of the world that are really relevant to the international jihadi movement, uh, places like the Middle East, places like North Africa. And the concern here is that the groups that are active in those regions see Chinese involvement economically, militarily, and therefore increasingly see China as, an, as a legitimate target for international terrorist violence. They also, because of, the, of China's exposure in those areas, see the groups, the terrorist groups that are active in Xinjiang as potential collaborators. And so it increases the ties that are built between international jihadi organizations like Al-Qaeda and what were previously relatively isolated groups in Xinjiang. Now, in addition to that, you also see that increasing liberalization in China has the dual effect of making terrorism easier to execute and potentially more effective.